We're going to talk some money. <laughs> and Biden. Got Harry. Harry. Got Harry. Harry. COVID. He definitely got Harry COVID. A New York Post here had the headline on the 8th of August. Biden says inflation bill funds health care. God knows what else in bizarre speech. Let me have the clip here. And we will play it for you now. Oh, it's muted. Hold on one second. I love these tabs and their mutes. Here we go. We've never done this before, but because of a number of things we got done on a bipartisan basis, like a billion, two hundred million dollar infrastructure project, like what we're doing today, what we passed yesterday, having to take care of everything from health care to God knows what else. What we're going to do what? is we're going to see, for example, if they got to put a new water line in in the community. There's no reason why they can't at the same time be digging a line that puts in a whole new modern line for Internet connections. OK, let's uh, let's read the article just to make sense of what he just said there. Uh, I heard a million, a million billion. Um, what else did he say in there? Um, something about something we passed yesterday that's happening today and then, uh, taking care of everything and something about, uh, well, anyway, let's see what the article says. President Biden seemed unfamiliar Monday with the specifics of the massive spending bill dubbed the inflation reduction act that Senate Democrats passed Sunday saying it funds health care and God knows what else. Well, hopefully, hopefully you, the guy, the president of the United States knows what's what's in this bill. Uh, let's see. Uh, moments earlier, Biden misstated the size of last year's one point two trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure law while touring flood damage in the Kentucky hamlet of Lost Creek. Quote, we've never done this before, but because of a number of things we got done on a bipartisan basis, like a billion two hundred million dollar infrastructure project, like what we're doing today, we passed yesterday. <laughs> Helping take care of everything from healthcare to God knows what else Biden said. Quote, we're not going to do or what we're going to do is we're going to see, for example, they got to put a new water line in the community. The president went on speaking without a prepared script. And then it's got a picture here. I, I love this photo because it's Biden on kind of like a, a little field here. He's got the podium, this little <laughs> makeshift uh, portable podium. A president podium. He's got his mic, a wireless handheld mic, as he's talking to the crowd. There's a line of people behind him. And then behind that is this destroyed tractor home, this tilted over, and it just looks like a complete mess. So, uh, yes, uh, making the point that we need new infrastructure. Or maybe, maybe inflation did that. And it continues, quote, there's no reason why they can't at the same time be digging a line that puts a whole new modern line for internet connections. Why? Why can't we do that? So it's going to be different. We're going to be back better than before. Oh, that's right. This is the build back better thing. Biden spoke for only about four minutes while standing in front of a condemned mobile home. That's what that is. On his first official trip since recovering from a rebound case of COVID-19. At one point in his remarks, Biden suggested it may become possible to control the weather. What? Wow, spilling the beans before jokingly telling his audience, which included Democratic Governor Andy Beshear and Rep. Hal Rogers, Republican from Kentucky, that it was time to, quote, run laps. You know, we were just talking earlier about how Biden probably wasn't informed about the Mar-a-Lago raid of the Trump uh, Trump location. And th this is why he can barely get out the talking points of his own bill. So how is he going to, how, how does he know anything that's going on behind the scenes with all the other stuff here? Quote, we're all Americans. Everybody has an obligation to help. We have the capacity to do this. It's not like it's beyond our control. The weather may be out beyond our control for now, but it's not beyond our control. Biden said. <laughs> I think this is another case of Joe spilling the beans where he's not supposed to spill the beans. It's like, Joe, you're not supposed to tell the American public that we control the weather. 
You know, so he kind of backpedals there. Biden's remarks about the Senate passed package were flagged by conservatives who said Biden had underscored their argument that the bill isn't about lowering inflation, which soared to an annual rate of 9.1% in June. RNC Deputy R- uh, Rapid Response Director Kyle Martison tweeted, quote, Biden basically admits the Inflation Reduction Act is not about bringing down inflation. And it kind of goes on here. And, you know, it's a New York Post, so it's a little little Biden bashing going on. Uh, but, you know, a couple days have gone by and um, Biden was uh, uh, on stage this morning uh, delivering the good news, the, the CPI, the uh, the new uh, numbers about inflation. So let's hear a quick clip of that. Danielle, thank you. Before I begin today, I want to say a word about the news that came out today relative to the economy. Actually, I just want to say a number. Zero. Today, we received news that our economy had zero percent inflation in the month of July. Okay. uh, You heard it there, folks. President Biden said zero percent inflation. Let's hear it again. Today, we received news that our economy had zero percent inflation in the month of July. Okay. So the month of July. Now, Man, we have to break this down a little bit because what he's trying to say is that between June and July, there, we didn't have we, the inflation didn't go up, so it was zero percent inflation. But in reality, when you're talking about the CPI, you're you're, you're comparing a year's worth. So usually it's you know from June 2021 to June 2022, the numbers last month it was nine point one percent was the inflation, and so this month. Uh, the projected number of inf- for inflation was 8.7%, I believe, and the numbers came out, and it was lower than that. It was 8.5%, so therefore, there, there was uh, you know, no change. It didn't go up, is basically what he was trying to say, but of course, you know, it doesn't really help when the president just says things that require that level of deconstruction to understand because otherwise people are going to be running around saying hey we're back to zero percent inflation which uh, to the point of the midterms this is a positive for the democrats uh wanting because one of the big talking points against biden was inflation 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 and uh, it was a very easy pickings for the republicans to talk about the economy and the, the problems that we've been having and so uh, now that we are close to the elections we knew that this was going to happen we knew they were going to bring inflation down and uh, yeah, at least make it look like joe's doing something doing something good for the world uh, for at least the american economy and uh, you know there's it shouldn't be surprising to anybody but again it's just one of those things where joe speaks and it just requires knowledge about the situation to understand what he's saying otherwise people are going to start peddling fake information or false information oh there's zero percent inflation no there was zero percent change in inflation so yeah there you go and now i'm worried about basil because you know uh, when when he's mentioned his issues there is uh his break his potty break you know you you normally you just think hey maybe it's uh it's a number one issue but uh Apparently it's a number number two issue. Sorry about the graphic nature. If uh, you, <laughs> I know it's a family friendly show here. I'm trying to trying to keep it clean. 